So in the last uh, year in particular at the organization, there's been a lot of uh, specific change and I've had a very difficult time in terms of adapting to um, taking a company from a handful of employees. You know, let's say we, we started with a team of three, four or five individuals and then uh, being able to accelerate that growth into a team that has, let's say, more than 20, 30, 40 people. Um, and so in, in order to do that, one thing I quickly learned um, the hard way is that uh, if the expectation from day one is not set with both the employee and the employer in terms of where we're where we're currently at, what we're expecting, you know, what we're expecting and what we're looking at moving forward, then I think you can create uh, a domino effect problem. So in order to address that, what we've done is we first uh, adapted last month uh, what's called a culture document. So if employees um, do not uh, follow this particular uh, culture document, that's okay. It's just uh, it's known to us that our uh, our work workplace is not probably a perfect fit for everybody. And in this employee uh, culture document, which you guys will see below on the link, um, it'll walk you through exactly what we look for, why we look for these specific characteristics, and then more importantly, uh, it allows us to quickly assess whether this this candidate's a fit or not, especially when problems do arise. Um, so. You'll see that um, I've shared a in-depth culture document for both my existing business as well as uh, the current uh, project we're rolling out, which is our technology marketplace product called Anything with Ink. Um, and for both of those organizations from day one, we're looking to set the precedence uh, and be able to quickly assess and make sure that we're adhering to those cultural standards within the organization. Um, from there also, you know, talking about something and saying you're going to do something and actually doing it are two totally different things. So in terms of a managerial standpoint and implementation, um, I've also provided some documents below that have been given um, actually uh, in, in a, a free model directly from Google, uh, which I think could be uh, some very useful tips and tricks for management uh, people to be able to define what their employees, both short term and long term goals are within an organization. Um, I think this is a generally good starting point uh, for you to be able to define your company's goals and objectives. And uh, I highly recommend you, you take the time uh, to put together some sort of basic culture document for your organization before you start bringing everybody on. Um, so that this way you can adhere to a set standard. And in addition to monitoring those goals and objectives, I think these Googles, uh, you know, the, the tools that uh, Google has provided, uh, which I've also included below, uh, would be uh, quite useful for your business. Thanks.